In today's video, we're gonna be introducing to you guys six of the best Blender add-ons and tools that will help you transform your art into beautiful line art and traditional paintings. The creator of these add-ons is very passionate about achieving traditional painting and stylized effects with your 3D scenes and renders. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first one we're gonna start with is called Blender Life Paint Filter. This add-on is powered by geometry nodes to give your 3D scenes that traditional painting feel. The way it works is like having a live camera that you can attach to any object in your scene. This lets you see the changes happening in real time as you interact with your project. And all you have to do is input your camera and collections into geometry nodes and that's it. You can now see your scene through a plane giving you that wonderful painting effect. But this is not everything because you can customize the effect in the Geometry Nodes modifier, giving you control over painting thickness, angle edges, broken edges, stroke detail, and so much more. And once you are satisfied with the results, you can even bake your paintings to use them in other projects, which is very useful. Next, we have Blender Illustration Shader. This add-on will help you apply custom painterly materials directly on top of your objects helping you sell that painting look and feel. The shader comes packed with a bunch of node presets for you to choose from and apply to your objects for a specific result. From what I can see, the nodes that come with this add-on give you control over every detail of your paintings such as edge density and transparency, contrast, hue and color, stroke details, texture and even a custom color palette. By the way, Blender Illustration Shader is supported for both Cycles and Eevee so that everyone can freely use it. Now, if you ever wanted to achieve a certain color palette in your renders, then look no further than Painter's Color Filter Node. It is a geometry node setup that does exactly what its name suggests. It can take any color input you give it, and the output will be through a limited color spectrum that many famous painters have used. This will give you that artist specific color palette so that you don't have to manually try to match it. To me this seems very interesting because this add-on includes the color palette of 9 different famous artists throughout history, like Vincent van Gogh, Leonardo da Vinci, Richard Wilson and many others. Next up we have a tool that mainly focuses on one job and it does it well. And we are talking about an add-on called Painterly Borders. What this add-on does is that it adds a painterly vignette around your camera view, giving you the illusion that your camera view is painted. You can freely adjust the size and randomness of the seed as well as any aspect ratio that you wish. So you have the option to either pick your desired color for your canvas, giving you a genuine painting vibe, or keep it transparent if you are into post-processing. So it depends on your preference. Moving on, we have a modifier, which is all about helping you get the stylized cartoonish look to your art. Basically, Line Art Curve Modifier is a geometry node tool designed to transform your objects into a fun-looking line art. And just like the previously mentioned add-ons, this modifier offers you a complete freedom over your line art since it offers control over the thickness, curvature, and tapering, which is very useful. This, in addition to the option to tweak your positions, including contour, grease, silhouette, and add depth to shadows. And as you can see, it goes an extra step to help you with generating automatic UVs for every stroke, which is a very nice feature to have. Last but not least, we have Pixel Pasto, an add-on that will help you transform your digital images into beautiful paintings for the millionth time. This may sound familiar to the add-ons we mentioned earlier, but it is different since this add-on takes your digital images and transforms them into paintings, instead of creating paintings from 3D scenes, which is the difference. And the best part is that you can choose from different painting styles to apply brush strokes that mimic the techniques used in traditional paintings. But this is not everything, because you can also fine-tune your paintings by adjusting many parameters such as brush size, stroke intensity, color palette, and so much more. And the crazy part is that, after it's done converting, it will maintain the details of your original images, safely preserving your work 
and making sure you can always go back and make adjustments. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.